Six Flags Magic Mountain. And Santa Clarita, California is the subject matter and the destination of today's video. I'm gonna step inside and see what can be seen and do what can be done. First things first, need a park map. Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. There are a heck of a lot of posters and a heck of a lot of square footage. This theme park is massive. What I really want to designate and harness the vlog towards today is superhero stuff. Possible themed restaurants, dark rides, attractions, maybe even some meet and greets. What do you think of that idea? I think it's really good. Um, I think I want to ride the drop doom. But I'm a little bit nervous because that drop is pretty like, you're doomed if you drop, right? So I'm a little scared. They are very strict on their camera policy as well, so that should be, that should be interesting. Join me. Shall you? As of right now, it doesn't look too terribly busy back here at the DC Universe section. This is pretty cool. They have a stage set up, almost like in fair fashion. They have this spinning ride designated the Wonder Woman Lasso of Truth. It's almost like her lasso spins you around. You would get nauseous on that, especially if you had a, a full meal at the base of the structure. We got Batman and Robin who are cordially inviting you to look at the Batmobile. There it is. Oh, heck yeah. Can't get too close. They have the stanchions and metal ropes set up. This thing's pretty freaking cool. The Batmobile. What are you? I'm Batman. The Flash. I would imagine that that ride is probably very quick. My guess, my guess is correct. Another typical fair style ride, which I love. Oh, just standing this close, I can feel the wind whipping into my face. Not a lot of people on it at the moment. Look, everyone's being like contorted to the far right. The fastest man alive. There is one guy that in this day and age still would use this telephone booth. We all know his name. It starts with Clark and ends with the Kent. However, oh, they got it. They have it screwed in. We are not allowed in here, but there's a payphone. I don't think Superman ever used a payphone. He would just fly and talk to the person, you know, face to face, then he would drop a quarter in and make a telephone call. This is pretty cool. There is a newspaper machine for the Daily Planet, the voice of Metropolis, and the headline reads, The Flash Runs Down the Rogues, the Central City Citizen. If you're in the market for some new accommodations, they do have not rooms for rent, but rooms for let. Not rooms for rent, rooms for let. You can even dial up one of these residents. We got Star Labs. Ooh, Kent. C. Kent. Let's call the manager up. It made a noise. It made like a little noise, listen. Okay, let's try another one. Let's try B. Allen. All right, let's do Clark Kent. Very difficult to hear. Coffee sometimes cures the jitters and also at other times gives you the jitters. Wide variety of merchandise here on site. More capes than you can shake a stick at. Oh, this one's like a cute tiny one. The Joker, super villain in training. This one has the Man of Steel on the lenses, or you can go with the I Heart version. Of course, we got Wonder Woman. We got Batman down there. Green Lantern, nice. Facing my fear. If you have a fear of price tags dangling on your nose, that's what my fear is right now, this, this price tag. Like, I don't know where to put it. Yeah, look, I didn't even realize this. 
but they light up. This is like illuminated purple color. Pretty cool. It's almost like a lightsaber, but it's, it's like the Batman version. I see you have constructed a new Batman stick. Wedged down in the umbrellas are these, are these also weapons. There's weapons everywhere out here. It's like, it's made of foam, so it can never actually see. It's like wiggling. It's made of foam, so it really wouldn't injure you, but it's like the wiggly stick. It's a, it's the wiggly Wonder Woman stick. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. I would really like to document Batman the Ride here at Gotham City Park, but as stated earlier, they have very strict rules with no leniency, no cell phones, cameras, or you know, out-of-pocket electronics, which means no filming, not even GoPros. We asked about GoPros, and those aren't even allowed. What about my GoPro? No GoPro, sir. Put the GoPro back. You were instructed. Just move along. Move along. Keeping up with the theming, we have Smallville Frozen Lemonade. However, this location is, is closed, but you can visit the other one next to Battle for Metropolis, which we will be going to here in a little bit. Oh man, look at the Green Lantern first flight ride. To ensure future enjoyment for years to come, this attraction is closed today. Have a magical day at Six Flags. We still can bask in its glory, however. That would make me very, very nauseous. I like the exit queue. The theming of the exit queue is pretty cool. You gotta love this. This thing stands about 15 feet tall. It's massive. It's a beacon of light in a very dark, evil world. Kent Korn, keeping up with the family tradition. Not 100% sure which family member started Kent Korn. Obviously, it started in Smallville, Kansas, a great place to live. I bet it tastes probably pretty, pretty appetizing. This is the smoking area. Do not smoke on this side of the line, but you are allowed to smoke on that side of the line. Oh! He's a juggler! Here we go, ready? Oh! Dude, you actually hit a plate though! I'm kind of glad I won this tiny little guy because if I had to carry around something of that magnitude, it'd be very difficult all day carrying that gentleman. Metropolis, city of tomorrow. We made it. And look over there. That, my friends, is the Hall of Justice. Oh, yes. The battle for Metropolis. Equality, honor, justice, and hope. They're invoking the power of Superman here in front of a reproduction of the real Hall of Justice. Going in, it's happening. It is happening, yes! I suddenly feel much more powerful being in this room, much more powerful. Whoa, something's happening. He just called me a dimwit. Now that half of the Justice League is out of our head, we're having a wild time. The fate of Metropolis is in our hands. All right. We are counting on you. All right, I'm, I'm up. Don't let us down. I'm not going to. I'm not going to let you down. Trust that. me. I'm ready for this. It's a high-tech military vehicle developed by the government's anti-supervillain task force, Argus. It's a self-guided hovercraft, so you can focus on blasting the bad guys without worrying about where you're going. Heck yeah. I'll watch what happens when I blast that leg spot in the tank over there. <laughs> Booyah! There's no time to waste. Head through those doors where Argus agents will equip you with safety glasses to protect your eyes from flying debris. About to board the ride vehicle. There goes one now, but first, I have to grab my protective goggles. I'm competing against you. I'm saving the world. What happened? Ready to go. You guys have your cameras in your pocket. There's no one for you. We're going in. Oh, I don't know. 
don't know what the gun. Exiting through the gift shop, I have to say, this is pretty fascinating. I would wear that to bed. I would slumber inside that. And of course, they have a lot of Lego superheroes, Lego Batman, and oh, even the a Joker. What is this thing? I must admit, out of almost every theme park I've ever been to, this has to be the most strict as far as filming. You can't film on the coasters. They don't want us filming inside. They yelled at us inside that. I figured it wouldn't be a problem, but. Yeah, they're really, they're too strict, man. It makes it, su it sucks for us, because we want to film everything. You want to, we just want to film. We want everything. to document. I want, yeah, exactly. You can film outside, but you can't film. Yeah, it's boring to film this sometimes. You, you can't film all the action. Right. You, right? you want the action. But we try it. We try it. Whoa, they have a, ooh, Sky Coaster. And we got even Spider-Man over here taking some sweet pics. More very large stuffed animals, but you have to toss a ring, which is nearly impossible, and toss the ring and land it on one of those wine bottles. And you can take one of these, these things home with you. Getting ready to get some food, and I'm looking at the menu. I just want to show the price of a large soda here. Like, I thought it was a misprint at first. No, it's $6.49. That's a... It must be a, a tasty beverage. So I decided to go with a free cup of water instead, but I did opt for the baked potato with chili and cheese. I tried going healthy, but then I got fried onion rings, so I just screwed it up. And I up. noticed you didn't you didn't opt for the $6.50 beverage either. Nah. You just uh, I, I ain't doing that. <laughs> you'd rather not drink than pay $7 for a soda. See? No soda there. Inside the arcade, they have these claw machines. And there's some little stuffed bears wearing superhero outfits. And in this one, some Funko Pops down in there. Oh yeah, there's Hellboy. It's got the Marvel Universe, Black Panther, and Mr. Mr. Poopy Butthole. The Riddler's Revenge, and the reason there's a question mark is they want to know do you have the gumption to tackle this coaster? Oh, a loop-de-loop. -loop. Coming around, way up high. Through the building. Another loop on the back side of that structure. It's intense. Luther Drop of Doom is now currently equipped with VR. And if you look way up there, you will see some guests. They're on an elevator and they're gonna take the Drop of Doom at any moment. Oh man, that's up there. There it goes, there it goes. The Drop of Doom. And attached to the same ride is the Superman attraction. A vehicle goes along this corridor at rapid speed. I hear it. I hear it. It's very loud. It's coming back down. Dun, 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 dun. Voted Human of the Year. Lex Luthor fighting for human rights inside a mastermind. He's on the cover of News Time, Souvenir Shop, The Daily Planet. There's no newspapers in here. It's like a bunch of candy, some pillows, some. Dude, that candy looks good. Yeah, that's cotton candy. Look at that. <laughs> oh, what is that? Is that a, what's a sloth? Oh, it's a tr trolley sour bite sloth. <laughs> nice. Oh, it's like cross between a superhero and Elvis Presley. There they are, the Defenders of Justice. That was loud. Ooh, magic. Let me try it. Ooh. 
move my hand slower now. Ooh, there we go. Nice one. There we go. The secret is to do it slow and then it gets down to the bottom and it almost, there we go. Nice. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, action bendies. Got the flash there, we got Wonder Woman. See-through coffee mugs? Whoa, look, you can completely see how much liquid does that hold? Like, you're not gonna quench your thirst or get very caffeinated with that, but that is pretty dang cool. And inside the gift shop is the Man of Steel perched up there in front of those rocks, standing strong. Protecting the good from evil doers. Keep up the good work, buddy. Keep up the good work. And with that, I'm gonna channel the powers of Batman. That's gonna do it for today. If you're new here, please subscribe by doing so. It helps keep you in the loop and up to date on future endeavors and uploads that I will be going on and putting the videos on this channel. Check in the description down below for my Spreadshirt t-shirts. Get a t-shirt, ship directly to your door, any size, any shape, any color. Link in the description box. I will see you in the next video. The vlog is over. And remember, smoking is not allowed past that blue line. Smoking's allowed here, but smoking is not allowed once you cross this threshold. Just hold it in. You gotta just, just hold it in.